Australia should create a global blacklist of of tax havens, and impose sanctions on those who exploit them, Oxfam has said in the wake of the global publication of the Paradise Papers. Scandals involving the super ic robbing the world's poorest of much-needed tax revenues, like those revealed in the Paradise Papers leak, can be avoided if the Australian government and others take immediate steps towards tax reform, Oxfam Australia said in a statement obtained by the German newspaper Süddeutsche Zeitung, and shared with the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, The Guardian and more than 90 media partners across the globe. The Paradise Papers reveal the offshore financial affairs of some of the world's biggest multinational companies and richest individuals, and set out the myriad ways in which tax can be avoided using artificial structures. What are the Paradise Papers? Video Oxfam Australia Chief Executive Dr Helen Zoke said tax avoidance by multinationals in Australia was costing Australia and developing countries billions of dollars, fueling a global inequity crisis. Australian-based multinationals are part of the problem, contributing to keeping the world's poorest out of pocket as governments balance the budget by raising taxes on people and cutting vital public services, she said. Oxfam Australia said international tax reforms had failed. Assistant Professor of Economics at University of California, Berkeley, Gabriel Zuckman, estimates multinationals artificially shift 45% of profits to low and no tax havens. The Australian Tax Office released data last month that estimated multinationals avoided $2.5 billion in taxes in 201,415. Governments across the world should act to stop the world's richest hiding their wealth and avoiding tax, Oxfam said, including by establishing a global blacklist of tax havens based on comprehensive, objective criteria and implementing countermeasures, including sanctions, to limit their use ensuring all multinational companies make financial reports publicly available for every country where they operate and make extractives companies also report on a project-by-project -project basis establishing a centralized public public register of individuals who own a benefit from shell companies, trusts and foundations ensuring tax treaties do not exploit developing countries' tax bases creating a global tax body where all countries can work together on fundamental tax reforms. The Australian Tax Office released data last month that estimated multinationals avoided $2.5 billion in taxes in 201,415. The ATOS figures show that large corporate groups reported $1.5 trillion in gross income in that year, and paid about $41 billion in tax. The ATO estimates the tax gap, between what is paid and what should be paid if all companies were Y compliant, was $2.5 billion in 201,415, or 5.8% of tax payable. The ATO has been working for several months with partner agencies across the world in anticipation of the release of the Paradise Papers by the ICIJ. We're hoping quite soon to get access to that data ourselves and begin analysing the Australian implications of the data set, Mark Conzer, the tax officer's deputy commissioner, said.